Hello everybody, welcome back to Undertale. Uh, Today is going to be a short video, because uh, I did not... Uh, so here's the thing, right? Woke up today after, you know, uh, getting home from work last night, going to bed. Woke up, uh, decided I was going to go and watch a couple things and whatnot before I made the video. Uh, this is actually, well, yesterday from when you're watching this. Uh, started to watch a couple things, fell back asleep, apparently I was that tired. Uh, arrow and flex is in. Alright. What can I do? Check, flex, or shoot. Oh, if he's gonna flex, I'm gonna flex back, right? Attack increases for you too. Okay, man. I'll flex off with you. Uh, and yeah, fell asleep, so it is now like an hour before I gotta get ready to go to work. So I have, so this will be a sh fairly short, thrice as hard, alright. So this is going to be a fairly, oh god, alright, a fairly short video, oh, so that I actually get it done. Flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> All right. Um, so I will say this is the uh, the last bit that I've seen. What the hell's that? Can, can call it bridge. Oh, okay. Uh, and but I do believe when I started this, I said that you know I've seen parts of this. Oh, whoops. Oh well. Uh, and this section here with the bridge flowers is the last section that I had seen in the Let's Play I watched of it, so... Uh, after this it'll be all new to me. Good god, this is still really loud in my ears, Jesus Christ. No wonder I ought to turn it down so much. And no volume control for some reason, or at least none that I could find. Oh, what does the sign say? Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Alright. So I don't know exactly how long I'll go for. I'll go for a bit. Uh, you know, I am still gonna stop at a checkpoint at some point in time. So we'll see how far away... Oh, do I actually need all four of them in the water? Ah, and then, okay, I'll wait. oh, what if I just do this? Boop. No way. All right. Okay then. Fair enough. Maybe I do that and get through the waterfall. Let's see. Is that? I guess I could have done this in a couple spots, not just there. And there we go. Oh. <clears throat> oh, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. God. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yeah, I think that's what I have equipped. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, that's right, because Indyne uh, grabbed him there the last part and, that, and said that she was, or he said he was going to help her, but whether or not he actually will help her, I don't know. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Alright. Oh, this is the wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh. 
And I flex off again. Oh, okay. Whoops, no, not. Ah, eh. Clean touch or joke? Uh, I'll check him first. The assembled German food seeks. Okay. Oh, God. Now, will the sparkles hurt me? It's rinsing off a pizza. Green means clean. Alright. Oh my. Ah. Ow. Hey, I caught one. Come on, sis, make a wish. Alright. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Alright. Yeah, sure, why not? Look, it's stars. It looks like it's got a little face on the right. Interesting. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Alright, sure. Oh, right, because it's sparkling stones. So the alignment of the stars would never change. Gotcha. I mean, ah, uh, so funny. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Okay. I'm not sure what that's about, but whatever. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay. Oh my. Alright. Oh, and then it just leaves me here. Alright, I guess I'm here now. Well, this doesn't look good. Yep. Oh. What do you want, bitch? Oh my. Aha, can't catch me. Oh, damn. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, alright, so you caught me. Oh, fuck. Oh god, actually. Alright, so just basically hug the bottom for that. Fuck me. Aha, you can't find me when I'm in the tall grass. You are not a velociraptor. <coughs> the helmet looks a little weird. It looks like it's got teeth in front where the grate is. <clears throat> not me, dude. Really? So you just give up? You know that's not what you were chasing this way. Hey, little buddy. Because, like, that was, like, the little monster guy that was following me around, right? Can I not find him in there? No, I guess not. What the hell's with all these... Oh, there he is. Now is he going to come out? Yeah. Yo, did you see that? And I just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Just she's been here so long, a magical crystal is growing around it. It's stuck to the table. All right. Oh, just squeak because of the mouse. Gotcha. So these mice, eh, they never fucking get their cheese and everything is always stuck to the table. I didn't get any spaghetti. I didn't get any cheese. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, Sands, what are you going to do to the Tusco? I'm thinking of getting, I'm 
thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50000 to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? I'm going to walk away with shit all over my eye, aren't I? Or there's going to be like something really dumb here. It's just blotted out red, so there's nothing there. And yeah, that's what I thought. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Yeah, zero. I gotcha. Uh, let's see, what's in here first? So far, these side passages have been pretty fucking empty. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Oh, this is like the nice cream vendor, right? But there are still no customers. Uh, fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. It's the frozen treat that warms a heart. Now just 25 gold. Sure. Cards in the box. <laughs> okay. So I feel like he could have just handed me the card if the box, like, because obviously he had to walk over and put the card in there, right? I will throw my punch card in there. Oh, now I have a healing item. What the star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No. I cannot be touched, eaten, well I can be touched, but I cannot be eaten. Well that's technically not correct either, I can also be eaten. Uh, and I can be killed, so, but no, I am not a star, even though all those things apply to me. Look at it, it's a little duck. But he's on the same side, okay. It's like the negative zone I'm going into, or what? Okay, oh, more flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? But that's it. That's not a passing conversation. That's a question. Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. Sure. Oh. Mold small. Can't I just, like... Yeah, I was going to say, I can just, like, tell him to fuck. That's why you get zero gold for them, I bet. Uh... So that's... It's a pair of ballet shoes. Oh, okay. So I now have a tutu and ballet shoes. Ballet shoes, weapon attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Okay, so they're a weapon. Uh, I wonder, because they're shoes. You put ballet shoes. Oh, instead of the stick. Yeah, sure, why not? Makes sense. I'm not going to use them for a weapon, but then at least it makes sense with the tutu, right? Alright, then down we go. Oh, gosh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu, because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. God. So I wonder what would happen if you actually changed your clothes in between that. Hey buddy, I could use a good clean. I don't like this attack, though. It's not... Super easy. Well, okay, never mind. I was gonna say it's not super easy to uh, dodge, but I guess it is fairly easy if you just stick right to the edge. Now I actually feel shitty for actually being hit that first time. Oh god, let's see. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Wow, it took them that long to get to that answer. Jesus Christ. What are the range on these flowers? Because sometimes. Like, that makes it feel like the flowers have quite the range on them. Oh my god, why even bother? Like, are they like really hard to kill or something when you're going for a genocide run or what? 
The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. All right. All right. Cracking time. Oh my god, it looks so happy. Hey there. Noticed you are here. I'm Onion San. Onion San here. Oh, he's an onion. Okay. You're visiting waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But, hey, that's okay. It beats worry, or er, beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. I'll be a friend if you just, you know. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear? And I'm gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall. Actually, that would have been the L, not the A that got extended, but I don't know how to extend an L like that. I'm assuming that encounter turns out very differently if you're going for a genocide run. What the? Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Check, smile, hum, or conduct, eh? So, uh, let's... I'm just gonna take a guess and smile. Oh. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Hum, hum. Okay. I can also hum. Oh my. Alright. Hey! Got her to smile and sing. Look at us go. The northern room hides a great treasure. I feel like that's not true, but I'm gonna go look anyway. Haunting song echoes down the corridor, won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Sure. I don't... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so if I go... Okay, so I must have to, like, learn this song somewhere else then, eh? Like, down here or something? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster, called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. The structure at its feet seems dry. Okay. Please take one. Oh, an umbrella. Uh, yes. Yes. OK. 
Okay, so th I need... Th oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only seven notes. Okay, so... Uh, enter, up, right, enter, down, down, right. Enter up, right, enter down, down, right, enter up, right, enter down, enter up, right, enter down, down, right. Hey! It was still only seven notes, so not eight. What we got? It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Uh, well, hang on, leave it for, for a second. Oh, but it doesn't let me read the sign behind it. Yeah, I'll take it then. You're what? I'm carrying too many dogs? I don't, I mean, oh. Oh, <laughs> Of course he does. And there he goes. Yep, that's not a surprise. Well, alright. Well, actually, hang on. Can I follow the dog out? No. Alright, then. You know, that... I, I don't know if that's, like, because you would actually get it in a genocide run or not. Should I take in another umbrella? Nah. I'm sure, well, nah. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, maybe I will. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Alright. I mean, dude, you gotta stay. There you go. I was going to say, you're not really being under the umbrella. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. Uh-huh. I'm on you, little tool. Oh. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, look at that. There is a castle in the distance. Okay. Get it. Can I move now? Oh, there we go. I don't like it when they do that in games where, like, they expect you to move, but then they put you behind a thing so you can't see if you're moving. Uh, it's also... Uh, so, like, am I, like, walking on, like, a little bit of a curve there? Is that why the castle barely moved? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see and dine, right? Climb on my shoulders. Thanks, kid. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. So I wonder then, like, if you had the umbrella, you wouldn't have been able to climb on his shoulders or something. Like, that's what would make you too heavy. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Like, not a single soul, so even during the war, they never took a boss soul. Alright, so save point here. I have a feeling that there's going to be something. The certain sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. 
I have a feeling there's going to be something coming up. So I'll end it here because, like I said, it does have to be a short video today, unfortunately. But it's the only way I was going to get it out on time. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next time.